Seems as if the Senegalese players think AFCON is corrupt, or at least one of them. Mm, maybe they're just finding it hard to accept their defeat of the AFCON game. And, you know, I mentioned yesterday that the AFCON cup holder, Senegal, they were sent packing by Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast won that game 5-4 to four through penalties after both teams ended the game in a tie. But one Senegalese winger is not accepting this defeat and is outrightly calling the African football body corrupt. The Monaco player, Keprin Diata, criticized the center referee, the video assistant referee, and the CAF staff in the mixed zone for not awarding Senegal a penalty. Diata, during his outburst, said AFCON should keep their cup. Apparently, <laughs> when Senegal won the last tournament, Afcon was squeaky clean, their goals were valid, and everything was okay. But as soon as they've been sent packing, oh boy, all of a sudden the whole continent is rigged. Is that so? Talk about convenient amnesia, right? And I really think this is funny because I mean his team won the Afcon last tournament and they didn't say anything about this. As Mane swings in across a little bit of space in the box, struck hard and into the back of the net. Ahead of him, and here is Kwame. If he can get the touch right, he can't, but it won't matter. Surely that's a penalty to him against Mendy. And he finds thankfully, football now has technology like VAR, and it makes it easy for errors to be spotted, allowing everyone to get a fair chance. Look, I get it, losing sucks, we've all been there, but accusing the whole continent of cheating because your team choked under pressure it's not cute theater takes take a deep breath it's okay it's just for boys the tournaments there will be other games breathe my guy breathe anyway some people might have a differing opinion are you taking sides with theater do you actually think that calf was being unfair to the senegalese team if you do think so i want to hear you do you think that the referee should have awarded them a penalty Maybe you think so. Comment down below. Let's hear what you have to say. Don't forget that you can follow the whole AFCON tournament right here on the Scooper app because we have live commentary where we'll be sharing play by play by play on exactly what's happening on the match. And of course, we're all waiting for our next team, Nigeria, Angola. Are you guys ready? What are your predictions? What do you think the score is going to be? Comment down below as well. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.